What's going on? This is Donovan Carter, and you're watching New Age TV. You. Yeah. I've been moving calm, don't start no trouble with me. Trying to keep it peaceful is a struggle for me. Hey everybody, it's New Age TV. We have Donovan Carter here. It's the top of the year, 2018. So we're just gonna chop it up with him a little bit, find out what's going on. So how you doing today, Donovan? Man, I'm good, I'm good. Happy New Year. Happy New, Happy New Year. Year. Happy Thank, New you. Year. Thank you. So what's going on with you? Talk about like as your career, what's happening in your life right now as the year's begun. Life is good, life is good. I'm, I'm working, you know, as an actor. I think that's what you want to do. The beginning of the year is work. Uh, we just start shooting Baller season four. Season four? Yeah, mm -hmm. season four, Quattro. So where are you guys shooting at? We, we're shooting at LA this year. Oh, that's awesome. Switched it up. LA and it's really going to be LA. Mm -hmm. So, oh. it's so not they're like, moving from Miami. Yes, transitioning, okay. transitioning. So we actually okay. shot at LA last year, but we made it look like Miami. That's so, like yeah. That. But I mean, the real LA folks knew. They was like, that's not, that's not Miami. Because we was at Bungalow, I think, one time. People knew that. That wasn't, you know, Miami or whatever we used, and that was Bungalow in Santa Monica. But uh, yeah, we switched it to LA this year, so I'm excited. It's always nice to be home in LA and can work here and I can chill and sleep on my own bed. So. Now that's always super cool. Yeah. So for the people and our viewers that's watching, I want you to give them an overview of who you are. Like if they don't know you from anywhere at all, like what would you describe yourself as just as an individual? Okay. Um, I'm Donovan Carter, you know, once again. Born in D.C., but raised in L.A. Uh, played sports my whole life. I'm a big sports head. Played football. Got a scholarship. Played in college. Uh, tried to NFL didn't work out. But, um, but I mean, I'm just a laid back guy. Relax. Like to have fun. Like to laugh. Like to chill. Like to watch sports. Play games. And you know, go to church. Believe in God. And praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. And um, amen. I'm just simple. As long as I got a Wi-Fi. And <laughs> a, good, a good plate, and uh, and I'm laughing. I'm good. That's it. That's good. Yeah. Right. So, what school did you go to? I went to UCLA for college. Go Bruins. Bruins, folks. Yes, go Bruins. Bruins. The one Ellie. Is that what brought you to LA? Yes. Oh, well, actually, my my father. I, I I grew up with my mother. I was born in DC. I grew up with my mother, and, and uh, we moved from DC to Atlanta when I was two. And then my dad, when I was eight, came and got me from, from the A, and I've just been here ever since. And man, it's hard to leave LA. It's just the weather, I don't know, it's just hard oh, to yeah, leave. Oh, yeah, the weather is I impeccable. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, back to ball. Yes. Is this like your biggest role that you have casted? This this is my only role. Oh, yeah? Yeah, this is my only role. I, I, I was in college. That magnitude, that's super right. cool. That's, yeah, God that's is good. super dope. Yeah, God is good. I mean, this was my first audition as an actor. Yeah. So yeah, I was in college. I played football. Like yeah, wow. for real. That is that is so <laughs> so out of voice. Yeah, yes. it's yeah. crazy. But uh, yeah, I mean, I always always like acting as a kid, but I just did sports. Like that's just what I was comfortable doing. Yeah. And um, yeah, my first, I did I did I did do commercials at first as an extra, but mm -hmm. I mean I didn't really do any too much acting. But my first time act um, going to audition as an actor was Ballers. And I love it. Like, I want to act for the rest of my life. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. actually really cool. I'm working out. Can we make this quick? Reggie asked you about a salary yet? We're supposed to talk later today. Complicated. He's important to you, right? Yeah. You want to keep him around? Word, that's my bro. This isn't a friendship thing, Vern. I rely on him, Joe. Keep him on the payroll. He's not going to put a debt in your bank account. Gives him a sense of worth. As far as that character, can you give us an overview of who is it that you play? And yes. do you think that your character is similar to who you are? Yeah, yeah, I, I can relate. I play Vernon Littlefield. He's a he plays for the Dallas Cowboys. Mm -hmm. Young dude, um, hard worker, you know, real low key, and uh, just wants to just wa wants to do the right thing. But sometimes it, it just doesn't happen. But I, he's not he's not one of those you know. He gets in trouble, but he's just one of those guys that he just has to learn from his mistakes. You know, he's one of them dudes I that just like has to learn the hard way. Like you know, some of us learn from talking to other people and through experiences and. He's just the type he has to learn through his mistakes. But he's a good, like, he's a good dude. I think he's trustworthy. He's a good friend. Um, and, you know, he's a young, he's a young, gifted, uh, talented football player. And, you know, he's just learning to become a man through his personal experiences. Uh, you know, a lot, of, a lot of us come through different backgrounds. 
And, you know, he's one of those guys that just gets money fast. And he didn't have a lot of role models to kind of mm -hmm. teach him to be financially literate. Yeah. And now that's where The Rock's character comes in as my financial advisor. And just really just trying to, I think, show these players, you know, what what, what to do. Like, just give them another, another outlook on, on how to live your life and hopefully learn from my character mistakes and some of the other characters and learn from that. Yeah. So what has it been like working with The Rock? I know he's like a really hands-on actor. Man, it's, it's terrible. That. All right. <laughs> no, he's actually, he's really, 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 really good guy. Like, he works hard, comes to work on time, and he's just easy to work with. I feel like, I think that's the key in this business is just, if you can be easy to work with and people enjoy working with you, then you're going to go a long way. Yeah. And he's one of those guys, and you're just happy to see him do good. You know, you happy to see good things happen to good people. I mean, that's what, and that's what, that's what he is. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, what's a gem that you have taken away from him, or just his whole overall being as an actor? Like, what have you taken away from him? Man, um, really, I mean, just be yourself. You know, he told me, you know, just be you and believe in you, and and uh, you know, whatever you get, you bless what you hear for a reason. Sometimes I think you do stuff. Or you get things and you don't you don't think you deserve them sometimes for some reason. Yeah, that's a good point. But uh, but he was you know he told me like you deserve it. You know you we all believe in you and just believe in yourself and you know that's that's one thing and you know he just he just works hard works hard and smart and he makes mistakes just like all of us we all make mistakes but okay. you know I think what uh, what defines as a character what you do after you mistake and you know he don't get rattled he mm. just does his thing and keeps it pushing. That's a good one, you all. What defines your character is what you do after a mistake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so talk about for people that can't really grasp the concept of coming from a place where you had really little acting experience and getting such a huge role. What was the process of like once you auditioned? Like, did you hear back from them right away? Like, did you have to take acting classes? Like, kind of talk a little bit about that. Oh, uh, yeah, it was, um, it was, it was interesting. It was a crazy journey. Um, yeah, when I first got the email, they gave me the size right away, and I had to audition actually the next day. And then um, I think a week later, they was like, can you come back? And I was like, yeah, absolutely. And then this was over, I think my whole audition process was over three months. Oh, wow. I do like, I do 10 auditions. And um, ten. yeah, 10, yeah, and it's crazy because you know, you start off with the cast director, then eventually just more and more people come in the room. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, you got the, all the producers, the showrunner, Director. I mean, at the time, I didn't know. I didn't know who any of these people was. I'm just like, it's just more and more people coming yeah. here. So, were you but, very nervous during that? Um, I was, but you just gotta do your thing. You know, honestly, at the end of the day, I mean, I played ball, like, and uh, you know, I played Division One ball in front of you know thousands of people. Yeah. So that was my thing the whole time. I'm like, if I can, if I can perform at the highest level in front of those people. You know, let me just, there's only 10 people, but it definitely was nerve wracking. Mm -hmm. yeah. It definitely was nerve wracking, but you know, I had some good people in my corner that supported me and they kind of, you know, helped guide me along the way, which uh, helped me out a lot. And then um, I didn't take acting class before, but I took it after. Mm -hmm. um, like, I think after we did the pilot, I started taking classes because I just wanted to just, you know, learn about the business, learn about, you know, acting. Cause I didn't, I didn't go to perform at our school. I didn't go to the Julie Arch, you know, I didn't yeah. study this uh, growing up. Yeah. So that I, yeah, I'll just kind of, everything I do translates to sports. So I'll just like, you know, if I'm working out for a tryout for NFL, you know, I'm going to work out to that day to try out. I'm mm -hmm. not just going to just wait and, you know, the trial's here, I'm out of shape. So I was like, I need to do something. So I started taking class and then eventually my show runner found me in class. I was studying a miser technique. And I've been taking class ever since because you just—it's just one of the things you gotta keep working on. Yeah. You know, it's the tools like a muscle memory, so you gotta just keep working on it. How did you find out about the audition? Through my coaches at UCLA, like just random, like got oh. it good. Like I just got an email on my phone about auditioning for the show, and I'm like, I was doing commercials at first, like I said, and then my coaches actually blessed me. They blessed me with the opportunity to do commercials, and it just randomly blessed me with the opportunity with the audition to baller. So I got I got the email. You know, like, like we all do, random emails. I actually looked at the email. Cause sometimes you think it's just trash or spam. Yeah. But I actually looked, responded, and uh, they sent me the size. And then it was, I had a show tomorrow for the audition. And then yeah, God took care of the rest. Now we got season four. Wow. Yeah. What a blessing. What a yeah. blessing. Yeah. Yes. 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 So what is some advice you can give to your fans, people who look up to you as far as the new year and just pursuing your goals and your dreams? 
I would say uh, just go for it. I feel like uh, even myself sometimes, you know, you just talk about things and I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Just do it. Just go for it. And the only way to find out is um, is to go for it. Mm-hmm. You know, be risky. Mm-hmm. With my situation, I had no experience, nothing. But sometimes you just got to jump off that cliff and just see what happens. And nine times out of ten, it's happiness. You know, you're going to, whatever you, whatever you most fearful of, scared of, go after it. Because really, that's what's going to bring you, in my situation, it's brought me the most joy. Mm-hmm. So, I say go after your fears, uh, have a strong faith, and, mm-hmm. you know, believe, you know, the mind, I feel like if you, if you think you can do it, or you believe in it, you can, you can do it. Yeah. You know, just go after it. Mind yes, yes, sure. yes, absolutely. No, that's really good. That's really good. Yeah, absolutely. Take risks, go after your dreams, whatever it is that you're fearful of, make sure that you uh, delve into that because it's going to bring you happiness, correct? Mm -hmm. Correct. You got it right there, right there.